Hey all, it's Aurelius. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a professional looking digital course cover or image, just like the one you're looking at right now. You can use on your website or on social media to promote and advertise your product. So as you know, with digital products, we can't really show them in person. And the way to show it is by using a cover or product mock-up, just like this one right here. You can see there's a laptop, we've got a worksheet cover, a smartphone and some books lying right here or an ebook that you may want to display. What you can also do is put some sort of call to action like grab the course for just $47. So if you want to learn how I did this in just a few steps, stay tuned and watch this tutorial. There are two simple tools that you'll need in order to achieve the product mockup that you just saw and you don't need Photoshop and what I'll show you is how to do it without even being tech savvy. So tool number one is Canva and tool number two is a product mockup tool called Smart Mockups. Links to these tools and any resources that I mentioned in this tutorial, I'll link up in the description below. And by the way, stay to the end of this video because I'm going to share the exact template that you can download all for free. I'm not going to charge for this. So if you want to download it and edit it for your own digital course, then feel free to do that. But I'll share all the details at the end of the video. Okay, back to the screen, you can see this is what I have created and this is what you're going to learn how to create. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to your your Canva homepage. And we're going to now start by creating a new canvas. But in order to create a new canvas and knowing what we are going to design, we're going to go to Smart Mockups first. So head to Smart Mockups and what we're going to start with is a book cover. All right, so this is the main foundational kind of cover that we want to start with and base all the other covers like the laptop screen and worksheets and the smartphone on. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to now search and filter it by isolated. Isolated simply means the covers that are just on its own without the backgrounds that you see right, right here. So click on isolated to filter it one step. And the one that I use, you can go back, let's refer back to the bundle cover. This is what we're going to create first. So we've got this main book with another book that's lying on it. So let's go back to Smart Mockups, click on this. The ones with the padlock you'll see, which are un unlocked for me because I've got an upgraded Smart Mockups account. These are the ones you need an upgraded account uh, to. So what we're gonna do is just select this one right here. And then you're given the actual dimension. So if you hover over left book, right book and spine, you can see what it's for. So starting with the left book, this is the main cover. We can see the dimensions in pixels 1500 by 2320. So therefore we go back to Canva. Next click on create a design and we're going to click on custom size. And if we refer back to the smart mockups, we can see 1500 by 2320. So in this case, we would go 1500 by 2320, which I've already got here in my recent. Then click on create new design, make sure it is set in pixels, not in any other measurement. Click on create new design. That will open up a blank canvas to start with. What I've done with this design is to basically base it on a, an existing template. So if we go back here, I'm going to go scroll down and find that specific template. So keep scrolling down. And this is the one that I used. It's called layouts and flat lays. Click on that and that's exactly what I did. The first thing you can do is to change the title of the book cover. So in this case, I'm gonna just type in my digital uh, course and change it to whatever color you want and even the font style, it's up to you or you can keep the same font style right here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just change the text color to uh, black or dark gray. Next up, change the subtitle down the bottom and you can put whatever you want based on your course. So I've put in my subtitle, basically it just says how to create a digital course bundle quickly and easily. And here we can put the author name and we'll just put my name right here. And I'll change this box or banner to that dark black right there. And next, what we're going to do is remove this quote, or you can use that since that's just a placeholder, but I'll remove it. And for this image, we can replace it 
with whatever we want by going to photos. And what we're going to do, and what I've done actually is to search for uh, minimal, minimal or minimalist. So I'll search for minimal right here, and this is what you'll get. And of course, you've got to relate it back to what your digital course is about. If it's about health, then simply search for health or sports, fitness, nutrition, whatever it may be. Just type it in there and see what comes up. You will get a range of photos that are a mix of free and also pro options. Uh, you can, if you're a pro member, you can actually filter by either free or pro. But uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is just filter it by a free, just to show you uh, that you don't actually need a pro account, but I do recommend you actually get a Canva Pro account since the features do give you, you know, there are a lot more tools and options in the Canva Pro account. Okay, so I did a search for minimalist instead and found that image that I used in the product mockup right here. And it's the one with the laptop and the coffee cup. All right, and what we're going to do is to just remove the existing and I'll keep this placeholder for now so I can see where to arrange it. Click on the image once, and now we can just either snap it onto that um, that current placeholder. However, we can just move it to where we want. So we are getting more of the laptop by just double clicking the image. You're given this option to just slide it and move it across where you want it. So at least you have some of that laptop going on right here. And looks like I've got some of the screen as well. What I'm going to do is go back and let's take more of that, like that. Now I did notice that this picture or this box right here isn't the right color. So I'll just choose this brown. And as you can see, if we go back, this is what it looks like. It's not the exact brown, I think, but that's close enough. You're free to change to whatever color you want, by the way. Now with the cover design, all we need to do is click on download and I'm just going to click download right here. Now that it's downloaded, you can see it right here. I've just renamed it to cover for now. And what I'm going to do is go back to smart mockups and upload that first cover. So click on upload from, click on upload image. Here's the image that we wanna upload, click on open and then it's just gonna then put it straight onto the cover. Next up, we've got the right book cover as well, as well as the spine. So let's work on the right book. It's only just a little bit of it. So this is kind of the, the back cover of that second book. So this is quite simple. And what we're going to do is open up one of my templates. So you can either, you know, size it the same and then put whatever you want. But I, in my case, I've actually got a template for it. Here's the back cover template. And again, if you stay till the end, I'll share all the links and resources to where to get and download and how to work the templates. All right, so stay tuned for that. But this is the back cover that you can download or create from scratch. Basically, it's the same size and dimensions as the main cover, as you saw right here. All I did was I just placed some uh, placeholder text and just put in about this book. And it really doesn't matter because you can't really see it anyway. But once you've created your back cover, you can then download it, click on download. Now that it's downloaded, let's go back and click on upload from for the right book and click on upload image. And here's the back cover. And just like that, you can see there's some text there. Now for the spine, take note of the dimensions again. And if you want, you can create one from scratch. So 2320 by 200. Go back to your home page, click on create a design, click on custom size. I've got mine in history here in the recent 2320 by 200 pixels just to take note of, and this is what it looks like. And you can design it the way you want, but make sure it is uh, horizontal. So in this case, you can click on text and add whatever font you want right here. And this is basically your spine, all right? The spine of the book. And take note also of your colors of the book. I've got this white here with the image part of it. So what I've done is I've, I've just kept things simple and just made a gray with my digital course on it. So you wanna put your course or book name right here. Click on download once you've created your spine. Here's the image for the spine of the book. Let's go back to smart mockups and then upload from, upload image. And here's the spine right here. 
And there we go. That's the first cover created. All I need to do now is click on download and let's click on high. Got it saved here. I'm just gonna name this as uh, eBooks for now so I can see for reference. Going back to your Canva homepage, click on create a design. And what we're going to do now is create a canvas to put all these covers and mock-ups on, right? So as you can see, what I've done here, I've got these individual covers sitting on this blank canvas. That's the same thing you wanna do. So the size that you may wanna create is 1920 by 1080, which is full HD size, but create the size that you want. Perhaps you want it in a square canvas. In that case, you may wanna do a 1080 by 1080 instead. So that's the Instagram size, by the way. So if you are going to post on Instagram, do it 1080 by 1080, or if it's for a Facebook post, uh, you know, you wanna use and customize the size based on that. But the great thing about Canva is that it auto detects or more so shows you the optimal size of, let's say a Facebook ad, which is 1200 by 628, and all these other uh, sizes that you may wanna consider based on, you know, the social media platform. But in this case, what I'm going to do is just do a simple 920 by 1080, just to place all the covers in the meantime. And then once we do know our sizes, then we can always resize it anyway. With this blank canvas, what I'm going to do now is just drag and drop that first cover right there. So I've got the eBooks right here. Don't worry about the sizing yet. We'll play around with that later on. Going back to our mock-up right here, we can see the next thing is this laptop, all right? So go back to Smart Mock-ups. Let's go to All Mock-ups, and you can also save it if you want, clicking on Save. But let's go to All Mock-ups and click on Laptop. Or if you want, you can choose Desktop as well, but I like that Laptop Mock-up. And we can scroll down to the one that we want. Let's see if we can filter it by Isolated. Uh, it's not choosing isolated, but let's just keep going to find that particular uh, mock-up. And it's this one right here. So it's the MacBook Air. And what we're going to do is take note again of the size 2560 by 1600. Going back to your Canva homepage, you want to do 2560 by 1200. My apologies, 1600. And once that's done, click on create new design. And we've got a blank canvas. Now the great thing is you don't need to start from scratch again and go to templates and find that specific template. What we're going to do is shortcut all those steps by going back to our main ebook. Here it is. And all I'm going to do is just highlight everything. And what I'm going to do now is copy, go back to that new canvas that we just created and paste in all those elements. The first thing you'll notice is that nothing is sized to the way we want, right? So the way to go about this is to simply drag and then we are going to get the right size by stretching out all the way to the end like so, all right? And now with that in place, we can just arrange it where we want and we can just arrange also all the other elements. So I'm just gonna quickly just highlight all this. Let's center it by using the guides right here and I can see exactly that is the middle. The only other thing you wanna do is to make sure you resize it so it's larger, all right? Otherwise it might look really small. So I'm gonna resize it to that and maybe give it more space. So I'll shrink this or more so move it down. And for this box with the author name, we can just move it down as well. So there are two, two elements right here. We've got the text layer and also the actual box layer. So in order to select both, select the banner or box first, then hold your shift key, and then select the text as well. That'll select both of them at the same time. Now with your mouse, you can just drag down right there to wherever you want, but in this case, it is in the center right there. And I'll just move the subtitle a little bit to the top. So in order to do that, because this is grouped, I'm going to ungroup it so it's locked. I can't really move this individual, otherwise I'm moving everything as you can see. So I'll ungroup it first. Now I can individually move the text layer. So just move it up a little bit so there's a bit of space in between. Uh, I'll probably make this also bigger just to make sure you know there's everything that we can see on the screen. And we've designed our cover for the screen or the laptop. We can click on download and then click on download again. 
here's the file right here. I've just called it screen flat. So then I can determine which one's the actual cover and which one's just the flat cover. Let's go back to smart mockups and upload that specific image. It's right here, click on open. And there it is, there's nothing to resize after that. Click on download and let's choose the high quality image as well. Going back to the canvas where you added that first cover, what we're going to do now is add that new bundle cover, or more so the screen, sorry, and add that screen cover right here. And let's just resize it a little bit and we can play around again with the sizes later on. Now, next thing is to work on the worksheet. Now for this worksheet cover, I did use one of the pro covers offered uh, by Smart Mockups, but you can alternate this or use a different cover that's uh, for free members uh, as well. It's up to you, but what I've done is simply, I went to magazines and I selected this one right here where it says A4, a magazine with matte and glossy finish. And you'll see it's just for premium Smart Mockups members only. However, you can substitute this with another cover that's free. So it's really up to you, but that's what I've done just to uh, put in that cover and for aesthetics too. Now in order to make this cover, but let's say we wanna go ahead with this. The difference is that the cover is different in size 14, 14 by 2000. But the great thing about Smart Mockups is that you can resize and crop the way you want. So click on upload from, upload image. What we're going to do is use that original cover photo. And as you can see, it's resized it. And if you wanna fine tune it even more, you can just click on the edit and then just resize it any way you want. But it seems to have just uh, used up and fit that photo onto that canvas. And if you go back to the actual ebook that we originally created, if I go to resize, you can see the original size was 1500 by 2320. So it's great that Smart Mockups just is able to resize it based on this new cover that we used. Now, the only thing I did different for this magazine cover is that I added worksheet so if we go back to the original mockup, we can see there's this little box with, that says worksheet and you can just use whatever you want to. Or it could be a mind map or a plan or a, you know, a resource cheat sheet, whatever you wanna call it. You can add whatever you want to that additional cover. So go back to your main ebook cover and in order to achieve that banner that says uh, worksheet, all you need to do is go to elements and then click on the box shape and then what we're going to do is just resize it here for now like that change the color to something a bit more maybe dominant like black now for the text to save time all i'm going to do is just duplicate this and the shortcut you can use on your mac computer uh, for windows i think it's alt if uh correct me if i'm wrong but hold shift hold the option key then we're going to use our mouse to just make a duplicate copy the alternate is to simply click on the element that you want to duplicate then we're going to click on duplicate and that does the same thing now with the text there what we're going to do is just call it whatever we want so in this case it's a worksheet and now i'm just going to increase the size so it's a bit more bigger and there we go all i need to do now is just to download it let's start again click on delete and i'm going to upload from here and click on the worksheet so now this is the actual cover for the worksheet and I'm going to click on download so that I can add it to the canvas. Go back to your canvas where you've placed all your covers and now we're just going to add that worksheet to it as well. Here it is. And the last and final cover that we wanna create is that smartphone as you saw right here. Go back to smart mockups. What we're going to do is go to all mockups and under smart mockups right here, it's gonna filter it to whatever phone I want. So let's say iPhone 12 click on isolated and this is the one right here. Now this part is optional, but you don't need to recreate a new canvas if you don't want, if you want the fast and lazy way, but may not look as good is to simply use that same cover. So in my case, what I'm going to do is click on upload from, gonna look for that original cover right there. And as you can see, it's not as fitted. So what we're going to do is just crop it and expand where we want so that it fills that whole uh, box that whole canvas based on smart mockups uh, dimensions and as you can see it is isn't perfect but can still be used and click on crop and continue once you're happy with that so again it's completely up to you if you want to create a new canvas from scratch and then move over copy those elements to that new canvas based on these dimensions just follow those same steps as uh, you did for that laptop screen so go back to that 
area, that section of the video of this tutorial, if you wanna do so. But in this case, I'm going to click on download, download a high quality version. Go back to my canvas here and now drag that smartphone cover. Now with all the covers now on this canvas, it looks a bit messy, but let's now arrange it the way, the way we want. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is probably just arrange the screen since that's the center of the main graphic. So there it is. I'm going to just resize it a bit down. We can always expand it anyway, but let's make room for all the other covers. Next up, let's work on the ebook cover. And if we refer back to the original, it's right here on the right. But the problem is it's behind the laptop screen. So in this case, what we're going to do is just position and then we can move it forward. So there we go. Now the layers in front of the laptop. Resize it to something that looks realistic, of course. And that looks about right. Uh, but play by eye, right? <laughs> and uh, see which one looks good or which size looks good. Make sure it's in proportion. If we check out this right here, you know, it's up to about somewhere here, which looks about right. I'm gonna stick with that. And next up, we're gonna work on the worksheet. So same thing, let's just resize it. And thankfully it is in front of the laptop screen anyway, so we don't need to adjust the size of that. We can reduce it just a tad and now put it somewhere right here. Now, how do you know where, where to adjust or where the baseline is? Well, you can either guess where it is and just play, play it by eye and see where to place it. Otherwise, the smartest thing to do is click on uh, file, then click on show rulers. And then we're gonna just drag from the ruler on the top horizontal line, and then just use our mouse to drag that guide, right? So right there, that seems to be right. And we can see if I just zoom in a bit right here, that this worksheet isn't aligned with the book right here. So we could just move it down, click using our mouse so that it is more accurate. Let's just zoom out a bit more. Now for the smartphone, again, this is in front of the worksheet, which is great. And let's just resize it in proportion and make sure it looks realistic, of course, maybe a bit bigger like that. And again, let's zoom in a bit so we can see where to align it. So using your keyboard arrows, we can just adjust it and fine tune it. Let's zoom out a bit right here, and this is what you get, right? So once you've done all that, you can get rid of that ruler or that guide by just dragging it out, and there it is. If you wanna resize everything now, you can just highlight everything and then resize it like so, so that at least it takes up more of the canvas space. Now with the product bundle done, you can optionally change the background color. So you can see with this one here, I've got this kind of light gray, and you can do so by just clicking on the background Selecting that, click on the background color palette right here, and then choose whatever color you want. So this one right here, or this right here, whatever color you wish to use, even yellow, depending on your brand colors, of course. Well, let's say I'm happy with this kind of light gray color. The next thing, and what you can also do, is add that grab the course for just $47, a call to action. If you wish to do so and wanna do that, then I'll show you how to do that. Simply put, click on elements, and then click on the square shape. That'll insert a square and we just resize it down, quite simple, which you've done before for the other steps and then change the color to anything you want. Click on the gray color or even a darker color right here, but let's stick to something a little bit more lighter and just center it. Now add the text, then add a heading, and then that'll just place whatever placeholder text. Grab the course for just $47. And you can change whatever font you want. So I'll just choose Godol. Godoli? Godol? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But that's the font style used in this cover as well. So I'll just kind of stick to that, that brand uh, font. Okay. Now I'll just resize it somewhere there and place it in the center like that. And I'll just resize the box a bit and we can always resize it anyway. Decrease the height and there we go. We can also increase it like so, so it's a bit more prominent. Now with that created and designed, you can just click on download 
save it as whatever format you want, and then you can place it on your web page or on social media. So if you do want to resize it, the fastest way is to click on resize and then choose a custom dimension or choose one of the options right here. I believe this is a Canva Pro feature only uh, indicated by this little crown icon, which you may not be able to see because it's faint, but that is the fastest way. Otherwise the alternate to creating a new size is to basically go back to your Canva homepage and then adding that dimension right there or choosing one of the templates or sizes by clicking on Facebook or Instagram. Then you just move over or copy all those elements to that new canvas. And just in a few steps, as you saw, you've got a professional looking product bundle cover for your digital course or whatever it is that you're selling online. You can now use this on your web page or in promotional banners. Now, if you wanna save some time and simply edit the template that I used to create this digital course bundle cover, simply head in the description below for a link to all the templates, including the ebook cover, the screen cover, the spine and the back cover, all that. And you can see how you can use it. Once you click on one of the links, this one's for the book cover. All you need to do is obviously, once you have a Canva account, click on use template, and then you can start designing and customizing the cover yourself. So that's a little free bonus for you. And again, check out the description below to those exact links, no opt-in required, no catches. So grab those if you wanna basically save some time in designing it yourself. If this video was helpful and you got value from it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new and don't wanna miss out on any future tutorials just like this. In the meantime, I'll link up a few relevant videos that have to do with creating product mockups e-covers and bundles just like this in these relevant videos that you see right here. So watch those and I'll link up a few other videos in the description box below too.